Hi, my name is Tom Casey, and I wanted to do a quick short video today on your limousine company. Um, basically, I wanted to compare you with one of your competitors in terms of where you show up in search results when people are searching online for limo service in Tampa. <clears throat> I'm only going to cover two factors today because I want to keep this video short, but there's a couple things I want to run by you. But before I do that, I want to show you how many people are searching online for limo service in Tampa. This is a tool from Google. It goes out and does a count of monthly search terms, comes up with an average. And what you're looking at here is for the last 12 months from March 2015 to April 2014, how many people have been searching for limo service in Tampa? Okay, it rounds it up to the nearest 110. <coughs> so there's 1,000 here in April, drop down to 1,000, 720, 720, 880, 1,000 again, 880, 1,000, and then the last three months, 1,300. That's a lot of people searching for limo service. So I thought this would be a good exercise. So I went over here to Google, did a search for limo service Tampa. This is page one. Let's see where I find you. You are over here. There you are, Luxor of Tampa. This is your website and you're on page three, okay? So again, just two factors I wanna to cover today. These are two factors that Search engines consider when they're doing rankings. They obviously consider more than two, but again, to keep this thing short, we're just gonna look at two today. What I wanna do is compare you with somebody on this page using those factors. I wanna see if there's any differences, and if there are any differences, if there's anything that can be done about it to help you and move you up in search rankings, okay? So we're gonna use Olympus Limo for comparison. Let's go look. The first factor I wanna to discuss today, is something called citations. A citation, is a listing for your business on a directory site. It's a name, address, phone number listing. And I'm going to give you an example. This website here goes out and finds directory sites. And here's one called Manta, okay? So if Luxor had a listing on Manta, name, address, phone number listing, that would be considered one citation. Now search engines like citations. The more, the better. They feel it makes you more legitimate as a business, and therefore they want to rank you higher than someone who has fewer citations than you do. Now at the top of this page, we actually can do a citation count for your business. And I put you in here and it says you have 29, okay? Olympus, who we're comparing ourselves to, is 153. So there's a bit of a difference, but there's good news here. We can quickly and easily get you added to these directory sites. So this number 29, we can bump that up to 60, 70, 80, 90, into 100 in short order. And if we do that, it's gonna give you a nice positive boost in search rankings. You definitely would move up, all right? So that's citations. Let's go talk about the second and last factor. The last factor I wanna talk about today is something called backlinks. Now backlinks are important. A backlink is a listing for your site from another directory site. It's a link, so basically, I'll give you an example. If there was a, a website uh, called tampalimosupplies.com, and on that website, they had a link for luxoroftampa.com. And obviously that goes to your website. That's considered one backlink, all right, for you. Search engines like backlinks even more than they like citations. Again, they feel it makes you more legitimate as a business. Therefore, they want to rank you higher than someone who has fewer backlinks than you do. Now, this page actually does a backlink count for your site. And the number we want to look at is unique active backlinks, this number right here. So it says you have 35 unique active backlinks. That's not bad. Let's go look at Olympus. Okay, Olympus has 64, so there's a bit of a difference. But again, there's good news here. We can add backlinks to your site, and we don't need to add 30 of them either. I'll tell you why. The reason these guys are ranking is, yeah, they got this number right here. But this score right here is pretty bad. Link influence score is an indicator of how strong the backlinks are that are linking to you. And it's based on how strong the website is that's doing the linking. The stronger and better the website that's linking to you, the higher that score will be. This score really should be closer to 30% on average, okay? As an average. So that's what I'm saying, it's pretty bad. So what's that mean to you? Well, you're at the same score, but what that means to you is we can probably just add eight or 10 good quality backlinks to your site. Just make sure they're coming from good quality websites and get your score up to say low 30%. That would be huge for you you would really jump in the search rankings, okay? So, today we just talked about citations and backlinks only. But you're finding out that there are differences between you and someone on that other page of Google. 
You also are learning there are steps we can take to eliminate and mitigate those differences. And if we do that with just these two factors alone, give you a nice big positive boost in search rankings, you definitely move up quite a bit. Okay? So anyway, I hope you found that this was a little bit helpful. <laughs> this is what I do for a living, but I don't charge for consulting. So if you want more information about what I talked about today, that's free. If you want me to cover other factors I cover with my other customers regarding rankings, that's free. If you want me to even review your website, that's also free. There's no cost, no obligation. So if you want to see um, if I can help you out, give me a call or shoot me an email and we can go from there. Have a great day.